So I'm out here on a, uh, it's not really a job site per se, but a uh, guy I work with, he's got a sand and gravel company, so we're loading out some rock, but I am doing it not from a Sunbelt machine, but from my very own, my first excavator. This is the first machine that I've purchased. It's the only machine I've purchased. And hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, I'm waiting on them to come back, but it is a 2006 John Deere uh, 200 LC. Um, I got it from Prestige Equipment in Denver. And uh, it was in standard mode, backhoe mode or whatever when I got it. So they switched the uh, control pattern at the valve block, but... Um, yeah, I like it. I mean, the only thing that I've seen so far, and I'm not sure if it's, you know, an alternator or whatever, but the battery light is on. It was on when I got it, but it's on. And when I first started using it, it was fine. And then it kind of uh, idled down a little bit as I was using it. But then it, it cleared itself up. So I'm going to look into it. I mean, as long as there's nothing major. I mean, if it's just like an alternator or something like that, um, you know that's not too too big a deal so as long as it's not like a hydraulic pump or whatever but um yeah i'm happy with it it's got the hydraulic thumb and for what i wanted to pay uh you know it was uh better than any deal i found here in texas so yep like i said it's it's uh it's it's kind of different because I'm, I'm so used to a machine being a rental and um uh, not too much worried about what I have to fix, you know, uh, cause I'm, I'm pretty, uh, good with, uh, my hands, you know, mechanics and stuff like that. So I just know everything on heavy equipment is more or less very heavy and, you know, it's expensive, but, um, you know, it's, it's, like I said, it's different. It's, it's still kind of weird to be able to say, this is my machine, you know, it's my first excavator. So, uh, anyway, my brother and my mom just came out. My dad came out earlier to take a look at it. So, uh, I'm going to get back in, but I just want to make a quick video. Um, I didn't, I didn't record what I first did earlier today just because I was still getting used to it. And like I said, I've used a, a JCB 220. Um, uh, I've used a case CX 210. Um, you know, this machine, I've used a few big machines like this, but every one of them is different as far as control sensitivity and, you know, just how they move and stuff like that. So, um, I'm just getting used to it and, you know, just kind of getting a feel for it. So anyway, I'm going to hop back in and go get some, uh, some bang, my energy drink and wait on these guys to get back with the trucks and Hopefully they can kind of pull up right in this area here because what was happening, I was loading from right here. And it's really hard to load like this on the ground anyway. It's better when you're up on a pile because you can just scoop and throw it in the truck. Um, but hopefully they can kind of get right over here in this area right here. And then I can kind of stay where I am right there. Uh, and that'll kind of work out a little bit better, I think. So anyway, we'll make it work. Um, he's got some flex base and... I've got some property in Wolf City, so he told me I could charge him, but I'm still debating on whether I want to just charge for the work and then get the flex base much, much later, or if I want to just go ahead and get the flex base. Because uh, the thing about it, if I get it, I would have to rent a dump truck, and uh, since I don't have a CDL yet, I couldn't rent a dump truck like that. I'd have to rent one of the smaller five-yard dump trucks. And where the flex base is located, uh, it'd take quite a while for me to get it from where it's located to my property in Wolf City. So, um, if, you know, we make a trade or whatever, uh, I'll do this, haul all this rock out of here for you, or load this rock up for you. And then, you know, we can get the flex base. That'll save me uh, a lot of time and a few thousand dollars, you know, trying to do it on my own. So, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that's that's it that's my machine so kind of happy with it i know it's going like i said have some some issues and whatnot but you know it's it's so much in of course i still have my accounts with sunbelt and stuff like that so i can always rent if i need to but uh anyway i'm gonna quit talking and uh go get me some energy and wait on these guys to get back